What's going on guys? Awesome here. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at 5-Minute Fantasies Week 12, Booing and Busting Running Backs. Um, my start of the week this week, I'm going to say, is Kareem Hunt. I know that uh, Nick Chubb has been balling. If you got him, definitely start him too. He's an obvious one. Uh, but Kareem Hunt, a lot of people kind of forgot about him. I hope I hope he's drafted in your league, and if not, go definitely go get him, because uh, he's probably one of the top top six running backs in the league. Um, but uh, against Miami, I think that this is going to be one of those games where, you know, if it was high school football, they'd get a penalty for running up the score. I think that Cleveland, I mean, I, th I think they're a childish team, and I think that they're just going to try to come out here and make a statement. So definitely start Kareem Hunt. I think there's going to be a lot of targets to go around. Uh, start Adrian Peterson uh, against Detroit. Detroit has a pitiful defense all the way around, but I mean Dwayne Haskins is still, I mean he still sucks. So, um, <clears throat> you know they're going to be re relying a lot on the run game. Detroit has a pretty weak run defense and pass defense, uh, but nonetheless I think that Adrian Peterson, you know he's had some pretty strong outings except uh, this last one where they tended to favor Darius Geis or at least went half and half. Uh, so definitely start him this week. Uh, start Philip Lindsay. Uh, Buffalo's uh, rush defense has been suspect to number one uh, running backs. Um, Philip Lindsay, he um, he's good and he's poised for you know another good game uh, this week. Tevin Coleman against Green Bay. Uh, you know he's he's their number one option, especially right now with uh, I can't think of his name. Uh, Matt Breida. Matt Breida's out. Uh, so look for Tevin Coleman, you know, to be taking over a little bit more of the role, especially with Green Bay being susceptible in the uh, rushing attack. And then also start James White. Um, Dallas doesn't give up a lot of points to to uh, running backs on the ground, but they have been uh, known so far this year to be giving up a few points to running backs uh, through the air. So look for James White to get a few receptions uh, to bounce back, get back to his consistent, you know, 12 to you know 14 points a game. Uh, maybe even a little bit higher. I'm going to say sit uh, Mark Ingram this week. I don't trust um, I don't trust his production going up against this Rams defensive line. Who uh, you know it started out uh, to be pretty fantastic at the beginning of the season. It kind of waned in the middle, um, but right now we're coming back to where it's supposed to be. Even against this uh, you know amazing um, you know Baltimore Ravens offense, I think that it's going to have to be a lot more Lamar uh, centric. And I think they're going to be held in check a lot more than they normally would be. So sit Mark Ingram this week. Sit Chris Carson. Um, you know Philadelphia, they're great at uh, Philadelphia is great at stopping the run anyway. And then I think that this game is just going to be one where, you know, this is an opportunity for Philadelphia to co um, come back into the tie uh, with Dallas for first place in the NFC East. Um, you know, because I'm sure Philadelphia is kind of hoping that New England beats Dallas. Um, and I think that this is going to be one of those, like, elevated emotion games for Philadelphia, which, you know, they tend to play better in. So look for Chris Carson to get shut down. Uh, I know that Joe Mixon uh, has been, I think, his last three games, he's scored 17 in all of them. Um, but sit him this week. He's going up against Pittsburgh. And I know I said the same thing about Kareem Hunt. But, again, Kareem Hunt only scored 13. And I think that I think that uh, Kareem Hunt's better than Joe Mixon. That, coupled with the fact that there's nothing really to even say about the rest of, um, you know, the Bengals' offense, definitely keep Joe Mixon on your bench. Also, Carlos Hyde, I don't think that, um, he's kind of like a, kind of like a diet LaShawn McCoy, um, but as long as uh, Indianapolis has Darius Leonard back, uh, he's not going to be able to really do much in terms of, like, shaking off uh, defenders. Um, you know, Darius Leonard, he's one of those guys who he really covers up a lot of, um, covers up a lot of holes that running backs think they have. And then I'm going to say sit Todd Gurley against Baltimore. I know I said the same thing last week and he showed out. Um, but I think in that game, Chicago kind of picked their poison because they were, I mean, you know, despite how bad their offense played, they were still in the game with one possession left. Um, Baltimore is not going to have the same... Uh, mentality. I think that Baltimore is going to look to shut down the pass first because those are shut down the run first and then have to deal with the pass because those are the games that the Rams tend to lose. Um, and Baltimore is better defensively uh, in terms of coaching. Uh, so look for Todd Gurley to have a slow performance again this week. 